Shakespeare coined over a thousand new words, but not all of them caught on. Here are some of the ones that didn't. See if you can put them into a sentence for me. Swaltery, quatch. Quatch. Carlos. I've got a sweltery quatch at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Already we're there, aren't we? <laughs> It, it happened when I put my kicky wickies on. Yeah. <laughs> the cock will be oh, fucked shit. Yeah. I've always been yeah. near legged. You're a boggler in those times. I boggle my car a lot. You're fucked shit. What happened to cock old boggler? Uh, car a lot? That's a thing. That's where people sell that's a sexy second hand cars. <laughs> well, that's true, actually. That's just a way ahead of its time. Yeah. Way ahead of its time. Yeah. A boggler is a, a, a very clumsy burglar. Uh, <laughs> 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 A burglar that can't believe the stuff he's getting his hands on. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this DVD player. Well, he used it to mean a hesitator, who one who boggles. Like I, a, I don't like think that was right in boggling the mind. What is a, a, a kicky wicky? Is uh, that like a Russell Brand's version of a football or something? <laughs> <laughs> it's an affectionate term for a wife. Oh, oh my oh, dear, kicky wicky. A kicky uh, wicky is not an affectionate term. Domestic violence is a lot more acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> Smashy washy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, battery wattery. <laughs> Punchy wunchy. Yeah. <laughs> and a quatch. Or quatch. is it a quatch? It's actually an adjective. A fetch. Quatch. Quatch means a bit, be a bit podgy, a bit quatch. Oh, you're a bit quatchy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Luckily, I'm wearing a surgical truss. Clump, shall we say. <laughs> Whoopened, or wappened, is, is corrupt. Wappened. That, that's never really caught on, has it? But look at the ones that did catch on. Here's just a small example of words that are first used in Shakespeare. Accessible, acutely assembled, barefaced, beguiling, critic, even-handed, eyeball, Frenchwoman, eyeball. hunchbacked, neglected, overpower, promising, radiance, revealing, rose-cheeked, school-day synonymous, three-legged. A Frenchwoman is a bit of a stretch. Frenchwoman. <laughs> <laughs> he invented it. <laughs> he took, Before he that, invented he took... taking the space out. <laughs> yes, he went down. Even-handed. Uh, this is assembled. my wife. She is a... Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, thingamajig. I don't know. <laughs> what can I call her? Oh, Frenchwoman. I think you're called. <laughs> She's a Frenchwoman. Frenchwoman? Uh, of course, you can't be absolutely certain he invented all these because there may have been in use before, but uh, he is often the first printed source we have for them. He presumably had to have a pretty good idea that people would understand what he was going on about. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, I've done it again. Oh, no. <laughs> you know? This, this bit of rough is not behaving. I've said that before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs>